traffic is backed up for more than a mile. So traffic on 101 in the city right now, a complete mess. The, the Bay Area just commute just goes from very bad to much, much worse. Into, into and out of San Francisco is now over capacity. It's really expensive to live in the city, and most people can't afford to live and work there, and so they're moving to the East Bay. And the housing problem leads to a commute problem, and it's all intertwined, and it would just be a real relief to have one more way to get across the Bay and open up housing for people like me. I live in Emeryville, but I work in San Francisco, so in order to get to work, I have to cross the water. I do everything I can to avoid driving. <laughs> right now, the Bay Bridge is at a bottleneck, and so we have to look at alternative mode of transportation. It's a little bit difficult to get there by bike. I kind of have to take BART, the high-speed train that's underground. Any small thing that happens sets the system back significantly because it's just over capacity. It gives me a lot of anxiety. It's so crowded right now. I would have to bike to a ferry terminal. That would give me the longest bike ride. You say that we build another bridge, which is not feasible. So we have to really be creative. From Emeryville, you can actually catch a bike path on the Bay Bridge. Of course, I was asking a lot of questions. Have you been on it yet? Have you biked on it yet? And the people that have been on it, that have actually utilized it, have absolutely loved it. Um, I didn't realize it actually came to a stop. That's it. That's it. You get there, and that's the end of a run. That's the end of your walk. You turn it back around. Um, If it's already been built on one half, clearly it can happen on this half. Preventing total gridlock might take some creative ideas. To be able to have a bike path from Treasure Island to San Francisco, it's going to be wonderful when the project is finished and the connections are made. In my mind, this is one of those things that's going to affect people in ways we can't even imagine, but it will also seem obvious. All of these things are in place right now. Bicycle access is a missing link to really connect communities for all people. It would be faster and healthier. It's free, it would save me a lot of money. We just feel more connected with that side of the bay. It will impact traffic, there will be fewer people in cars. We'd be more independent. It would get rid of all that part anxiety. <laughs> I think it gives some great competition to our Golden Gate Bridge that all hands down is beautiful. We did a comparison of the anticipated users if this gets completed as a bike path and it's way higher than the Golden Gate Bridge because there's so many more people. It offers a future vision that people can't see right now because they don't have that connection and experience right now. But when it's open, I think everyone's going to say, how do we live without this?